XRP Explosion on August 23rd The journey of the XRP was not a bed of roses. It saw many challenges, the biggest including the announcement from the SEC, which led to the coin to fall 67% in December 2020. This was the largest monthly decline the coin had faced since 2017. But the coin did manage to stand the crypto trial of the century and reach to almost $2 in April. There was several ups and downs, but the coin again showed the bullish price action, reaching the high of $1.35, with a massive weekly increase of 65%. This was even way more than the top cryptocurrency of the market. Many reasons stood accounted for the bullish movement, but still, there is a massive occasion yet to come. The value is even going to get more big. We are going to witness a price explosion, and all of this is happening on the 23rd of August. Before we get into the event happening just soon, Welcome back everyone to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where you'll get your daily dose of XRP. As you know that we have announced a giveaway of 1000 XRP coins, so to claim your XRP, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to click the bell icon and share your views in the comments section below. Watch to the end for more chances to win the huge amount of your favorite coin. So for today, I'm going to reveal a massive XRP adoption that will lead XRP to the moon. You will know about the new altcoins of SDR by the International Monetary Fund. You will also know that what an SDR is and how this will help XRP skyrocket. And exciting news about the lawsuit is also there for you. So, let's get to the video. We are well aware that the world is going to witness a financial crisis. To rescue the world from the global economic crash, the organizations are working on different projects. One such project is SDR, and the IMF has announced that it is expected to complete the process of a new allocation of special drawing rights, or SDR, by the end of August. This was said by the IMF spokesperson Gary Rice. The general allocation of SDRs will become effective on August 23, 2021. Before getting deeper, first, you should understand that what is an SDR? So by definition, and as described by the International Monetary Fund, SDR or Special Drawing Rights, also known as Paper Gold, are an international service asset created by the IMF in 1969 to supplement its member country's official reserves. The value of an SDR is based on a basket of the world's five leading countries, the US dollar, euro, yuan, yen, and the UK pound. The SDR is an accounting unit for IMF transactions with member countries. To date, a total of SDR 660.7 billion, equivalent to about 943 billion US, have been allocated. This includes the largest ever allocation of about SDR 456 billion approved on August 2nd, 2021, the one that is going to be effective on August 23rd, 2021. This most recent allocation was to address the long-term global need for reserves and help countries cope with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the financial crisis caused by the virus's outbreak. We know the world is going through the worst economic crisis in peacetime since the Great Depression. Many countries are not even able to pay for vaccines and invest their recovery and are more indebted. This is where SDRs will come into action. It complements the reserves of the countries, making all 190 member countries a bit stronger with the collective power of membership of the fund. It would provide liquidity support to many developing and low-income countries that are struggling, allowing them to pay for healthcare and support vulnerable people. A fast eradication of the virus will benefit all countries. It is necessary to ensure that everyone has the financial resources to do so. You might have now got the idea that what is the importance of SDRs in the time of financial crisis and how it will help fight the crash back. IMF had just recently announced about the allocation of new SDR. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva said this is a historic decision, the largest SDR allocation in the history of the IMF, and a shot in the arm of the global economy at a time of unprecedented crisis. The SDR allocation will benefit all members, addressing the long-term global needs for reserves, build confidence, and foster the resilience and stability of the global economy. It will particularly help out most vulnerable countries struggling to cope with the impact of the COVID-19 crisis. Now comes the question, how is this all related to the XRP explosion? Well, we all know the history between Ripple and the IMF. Ripple has been in connection with the central banks since the beginning, and IMF has also realized the potential that the technology at Ripple holds. If we took a look at IMF and Ripple's history, IMF has been trying hard to make Ripple technology adopted by the central banks and other financial institutions. IMF has been seen doing this in many meetings like Swell or Swiss National Bank Conference. We have already talked about these meetings in previous videos. 
at the World Economic Forum in Davos, IMF Managing Director Christine Legrand presented a report on the impact of distributed financial technology. She said, beyond payment systems, distributed ledger technology have implications for a wide range of markets and financial market infrastructures as a fast, accurate, and secure record-keeping system, including for stock, exchanges, central securities depositories, securities settlement systems, or trade repositories. Technological and regulatory progress will be needed to realize these potential benefits. Experts believe that the IMF realizes that the role they see for the IMF could become a reality by utilizing the technology Ripple has to offer. It was clear from IMF following Ripple in such meeting that they want something from Ripple. And now with the SDRs, it is very much clear that IMF will utilize the Ripple technology. Ripple's XRP is a unique currency. We can create as much of it as we can. Experts are of the view that the IMF will say each Ripple coin is worth, say, 100 to 1,000. And then they send this to the governments or banks worldwide. This will be instant liquidity. The IMF can just simply use XRP and rename it as SDR. XRP meets the expectations of IMF, and it is actually the Ripple technology they will use. This will lead to a massive XRP adoption happening on the 23rd of August, and it will contribute to the ongoing bullish movement and will lead to XRP explosion. This might also help in the Ripple SEC lawsuit settlement. Currently, the agency's response to the privilege dispute follows an extensive and frustrating back and forth between both parties as they don't see eye to eye in terms of what constitutes privilege information. This has led Ripple's lead counsel, Matthew Solomon, to send a letter to Judge Sarah Netburn and request her help in the discovery dispute. Fact discovery is coming to an end, but many documents are yet to be delivered, lawsuit agenda. There is another exciting news that the SEC has been caught erasing the important relevant documents for XRP lawsuit. The William Hinman deposition transcript seems to indicate that the SEC tried to delete subtopics relevant to the Ripple lawsuit. On page 254, Ripple counsel Reed Fingal claimed it wasn't deleted and pointed the finger at SEC special counsel Michael Seaman. The deleted portion of the SEC document on page 96 was William Hinman's answer to the question, other than the issues with respect to Ripple, can you identify any other lawyers that came to you not seeking a no action letter, but seeking guidance with respect to transactions in digital assets? Mr. Henman, you call 10 different law firms. They give you 10 different answers. Each of them has their own particular spin. It's like the white light of your speech went through a prism and came out in 10 different colors of legal advice. This is the latest update to the lawsuit, which recently saw Ripple explaining to the judge why it refuses to hand over its internal Slack messages to the SEC. Both parties' strategies were analyzed by attorney Jeremy Hogan over the weekend ahead of the Hell Week as fact discovery ends on August 31st. If the lawsuit comes to a settlement, then it will also lead XRP to the moon. With so much exciting things happening with the unique cryptocurrency, we are not far away from an explosion. According to the daily XRP chart, suppose the XRP price closes August above the neckline at 76 cents. In that case, the cross-border remittance token will be well-placed to bust the resistance at the 50% retractment and other Fibonacci levels on the path to the all-time high at $3.30 printed in January 2018. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is $1.18 USD with a 24-hour trading volume of $8 billion USD. XRP is up 0.35% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number six, with a live market cap of $54 billion USD. It is a circulating supply of 46 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think? Is the IMF really using XRP? How far will this lead XRP? Share your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon and participate in the giveaway. And thanks for watching.